Hello, I'm Prasad Michael. It's Thursday, May 21st, and you're watching The Daily Fact Sheet. Malaysia's often criticised education system could be the best in the world in 30 to 40 years, according to the government. Second Education Minister Idris Jusso said Malaysia has already surpassed Singapore in terms of publications in scientific journals, and so it is not impossible that Malaysia could overtake them in terms of university rankings. For perspective on what an uphill battle it's going to be to reach this target, here are the numbers. The QS World University Rankings 2014-2015 ranks the National University of Singapore at 22nd. NSU is also the number one university in Asia. In comparison, Malaysia's University Malaya is number 151 on the world ranking and it's ranked 32nd in Asia. Muhyiddin Yassin said the Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak did not heed his call to sack the One Malaysia Development Berhad's Board of Directors. The Deputy Prime Minister also called for the firm's top management to be probed by the police. The video of his speech was uploaded on YouTube by former New Straits Times editor Firdaus Abdullah. Saya beritahu pada Perdana Menteri, set all those guys bought off one MDB. Buang mereka. Saya nak sebab sini supaya ahli-ahli parti paham. Cabinet will study a report on the restructuring of One Malaysia Development Berhad next week, according to Second Finance Minister Ahmad Husni Mohamad Hanadzla. Once Cabinet makes a decision, Putrajaya will announce the next step to restructure 1MDB. Ahmad Husni added the restructuring will involve energy entities and properties. Senior lawyer Muhammad Shafi Abdullah told the Kuala Lumpur High Court today that he should be allowed to question the low moral character of former opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim. Representing Senator S. Nala Karpan in defending against Anwar's 60 million ringgit defamation suit, Shafi said the question is part of his client's defence justification. Anwar is suing Nala Karpan over alleged defamatory remarks made by his former tennis partner in the article Anwar Terima Enamplo Juta Ringgit, which was published in Mingguan Malaysia and Sina Harian in 2008. And that's our fact sheet for today, but before we go, here's Najib expressing how pleased he is with Pandika Amin Mulia for deciding to stay on as Day One Rakyat speaker. Thanks for watching. Tuan Ibu Ketua, yang masih lagi Tuan Ibu Ketua. Saya cukup senang hati Tuan Ibu Ketua, masih lagi Tuan Ibu Ketua.